Round two is all about factoring. The first question you're going to ask yourself is, is there a greatest common factor? Is there a number that multiplies to all the numbers? Okay. If yes, you factor it out. If no, continue on your way. Remember, if the first term is negative, the GCF must be negative. All right, let's take a look. Um, let's, let's just go through and kind of look for the GCF, right? And I'm just going to put a little star in the ones that have a GCF. And then after the GCF is removed, we'll come to here. Okay, so let's look. Is there a GCF here? Well, first, I notice this is negative. I also notice there's a number that multiplies to 5, 10, and 40, right? What is it? Oh, yeah, negative 5. So look, this, this one's going to have a GCF. Look, I'm going to just set it up like this. Okay, does this one have a GCF? Let's see. Is there a number that multiplies to 5, 2, and 3? Mm -mm. No, there is not, right? The only numbers that multiply 5 are 5 and 1, and that doesn't multiply to 2 or 3. Okay, so no GCF here. Is there a GCF here? Is there a number that multiplies to 12, 60, and 63? Yeah, there is, definitely. Let's take a look. Does 12 multiply to 60? Yeah. Does 12 multiply to 63? Mm-mm. What about the next biggest factor of 12, right? 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. So 6, does 6 multiply to 60? Yes. Does 6 multiply to 63? Oh, no, it doesn't, right? And if I'm not sure, I can look here, right, and see 6 doesn't multiply to 63. I can also think, oh, 6 multiplies to 60, so then that plus 3 wouldn't multiply, wouldn't uh, be a multiple of 6. Okay, what about 4? Uh, 4 doesn't multiply to 63 either. Oh, 3. 3 multiplies to 12, to 60, and to 63. I also notice they each have an x, so this one also has a GCF. Okay, does this one have a GCF? Nope, I got that nice pretty x squared right out in front. This one does not have a GCF. Okay, so notice first I'm asking myself, if I'm look, getting a factoring problem, does it have a GCF? Now, after the GCF is removed, I still need to ask myself, does A equal 1? Does that front number equal 1? If yes, that makes the problem a little bit easier. I just need the two numbers that multiply to C, add to B. Um, if not, I have some more work to do. Let's, let's find the easy ones. Okay, let's start here. Let's factor out the GCF. Negative 5 times what is negative 5x squared? Oh, well, just the x squared. Negative 5 times what is negative 10? Okay, that's going to be positive 2, and there's an x, so it's going to be x. Negative 5 times what is positive 40? Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, and then 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, so look, this is one of my easy ones with just x squared out in front. So watch, I'm going to bring the negative 5 down. Look, this is x and x multiplies to x squared. Now I need two numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to 2. All right, so let's see. If they're going to multiply to a negative, I know I need a positive and a negative. Let's see, numbers that multiply to 8, and when I subtract them, right, because they're different signs, I'm going to get 2. So those numbers are 2 and 4, and I want them to come out to positive, so I'm going to make the larger number positive and the smaller number negative. And that's my answer. Okay. Let's take a look at this one next. And the reason is, look, again, I have that nice pretty x squared out front. That makes my life a lot easier, right? That just sets up like this. And I need two numbers that multiply to 63 and add to 16. Okay, you can kind of search around here and find, oh, here's 63. Oh, look, it's 9 times 7. Do those add to 16? Oh, they sure do. Everything's positive here. And I'm done. Let's take out the GCF here. 3x times what is 12x to the third? Let's see. 3 times 4 is 12. And x times two more x's would get me 3x's total. 3x times what would be 60x squared? That would be 20 x and 3x times 21 if I'm like oh I'm not sure right you can always do this if I'm like oh 3x times what is 63 look you do 6 oops sorry 63 divided by 3 oh it's 21 all right so now look this is not one of my easy ones neither is this one this is going to require some guessing and checking right? I do notice it's all positive here, so let's go ahead and throw some nice dark positive signs in here, but I'm actually going to start writing lighter in my pencil right now because this can be, this could be 4x times x or 2x times 2x. Over here, this could be 3 times 7 or 1 times 21. So let's start trying some combinations. Let's start with just 2x and 2x and 3 and 7. Okay, I'm writing nice and light. Let's see. 2x times 7, that's 14x. 3 times 2x, that's plus 6x. Oh, hey, I got lucky. I got it on my first try, and that's 20x. It adds up, and so here is my answer. I'm going to just go over it a little bit darker since I wrote it kind of light the first time. Okay, and there it is. 
Okay, let's try this one. I notice, I already noticed there wasn't a GCF here. I know that this times this is gonna equal 5x squared. And I know that this times this is gonna equal negative three. So already I'm thinking, okay, gotta have one positive and one negative. I'm not sure which is which. I can switch them if I need to. Okay, now for three, it's just three and one, right? So like, I don't know, let's just try. Let's see, 5x, that would be negative 15x plus 1x. Ooh, that's negative 14. So let's try switching these. This is going to be 3 and 1. So now 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5x. And then 3 times x, that's positive 3x, right? I'm checking these. OK, so that's negative 2x. Huh. I want it to be positive 2x. So since I got, a, I got the right number, which is 2, so I'm not going to move my numbers, but I am going to switch my sign. So I got negative 2. But I want it to be positive 2. So when I switch my signs, now this would become 5x times 1, positive 5. Negative 3 times x, negative 3. That will be that positive 2x. And there's my answer.